Hi guys. This is D Igoratech. Today, I will show you how to run multiple desktop on Windows 11 like a pro. Before we proceed, let's check my operating system version. You can see I'm currently running Windows 11 Pro. Imagine that you are at work and you have a lot of tabs, documents, and applications running. However, you still need to run some more applications. Or maybe for your personal things. Running multiple virtual desktop is all you need and it's very simple. Multiple desktop is available since Windows 10 and we have amazing additional updates for Windows 11. Let's proceed, go down to the taskbar and look for the task view. If you don't see the task view then go to the blank taskbar area, right click on it, taskbar settings, scroll down and you will see the option to show task view button. You can also access it through the shortcut key by pressing the windows key plus the tab at the same time. Now, let's click on the task view you will see the applications that are currently running on our main desktop. To add a new desktop, go to the bottom and you will see the option New Desktop. Click on the plus sign and you will see there's additional desktop that has been created. You can see our main desktop is Desktop 1 and the ones we created is Desktop 2. To add more desktop, simply click on the plus sign. There is no specific limit for desktop's creation, you can close other desktop by pointing on it and click on the X sign. Now, let's go to desktop 2 which we just created. You can see it's a clear desktop. None of the applications open on the main desktop are open here. It's just a clone of your main desktop with clean state so you can see everything is identical. You can see all the applications shortcuts and folders are the same. Let's change this desktop to wallpaper. From Windows 10 you can change the wallpaper but all the rest of the other virtual desktop will follow. For this Windows 11, you can change each and every virtual desktop wallpaper based on your likings. Notice that they have different wallpaper, unlike Windows 10, it does not have this feature. To determine your current desktop location, you can see the blue bold line below the desktop. But if you delete something from one of the virtual desktop then all of the other virtual desktop will follow. Let's test to create a folder on desktop 2. Now, let's switch to our main desktop and you will see it's also present. You can easily switch desktop by clicking on the task view and go back and forth. When I'm doing my work, I don't want to interfere with my main desktop so I will switch to desktop 2 to do some other activities. Let's say I want to edit something for my YouTube channel, so my main desktop would be for my work and my desktop 2 would be for my editing. Now, let's say if you are currently running some applications from your main desktop and you want to continue it on other desktop without closing the application, assuming you want to transfer these applications to desktop 2. Open the task view and you will see the application you want to transfer, you can simply drag it to any desktop you want. Notice that the application already transferred and running in desktop 2. Now, let's say you want to open another desktop for your video streaming, click the task view again then click on the plus sign to add new desktop. Now, let's run Netflix on this desktop 3. You have now 3 desktops running, you can also rename the desktops for your reference. To do this, Right click on it then click rename, since desktop 1 is for my work then I will name it work, desktop 2 is for editing then I name it editing, desktop 3 is for my streaming so I'll give that name for it. All the three desktops are now running with labels. Now we are going to the keyboard shortcut keys. First is switching the desktop. You can press Ctrl plus Windows plus left or right arrow. We are currently on desktop 1 or work, we can press Ctrl plus Windows plus left arrow to move to desktop 2 or editing. Now we are on desktop 2. You can do the same process again to go to desktop 3. Next is creating new desktop, 
you can press Windows, Control plus D to create new one. You can now see that we have new desktop created which is desktop 4. You can press the keyboard shortcut keys again to create more if you want. You can see desktop 5 has been created. There's a shortcut to change the wallpaper for each desktop. Right click on the specific virtual desktop then choose change background. You can simply double click on the photo you want and it will automatically change the wallpaper. We can also do the same process for desktop 5. Now, let's say you don't need the desktop 5 anymore and you want to close it, simply press Windows plus Ctrl plus F4. The desktop 5 has been closed and brought us directly to desktop 4. Notice the desktop 5 has been removed from the task view. Press Windows plus Ctrl plus F4 one more time. It will bring us to desktop 3 or streaming, as you can see the Netflix application is currently running. Now, let's say you accidentally quit or you just close one desktop with some applications running. Good thing is it doesn't have the ability to close application itself instead, it will be transferred to the last active desktop. Notice that this application running from desktop 3 has been transferred to desktop 2 which is amazing. You can see we are now on desktop 2 and the desktop 3 is gone. Now, we have these running applications again, what happens if we just close this desktop is all these applications currently running will be transferred to desktop 1 or our main desktop. I will press Ctrl plus Windows plus F4 to close desktop 2. Notice that all the applications running from desktop 2 has been transferred to my main desktop. You can see the editing software and the Netflix which was running on desktop 2 has been combined with my working applications and documents. To view the current desktop, click on the task view and you will see that no other desktop is present, only the main desktop is running. Lastly, we are going to open multiple desktop and applications on each desktop and reboot the PC, let's see what happens. Desktop 1 is running all this applications, let's go to desktop 2 and open the editing software. For desktop 4 and desktop 5 it's blank. Now, let's reboot the PC and see what are the changes after reboot. Hello guys. This is it after reboot. You can see we are redirected to desktop 5 where we left or do the restart process. Notice that all the applications has been closed which is normal after reboot. Now you know what happens if you reboot your PC with multiple desktop currently running. That's all for today's demonstration, I really hope you like this video. For more corrections, suggestions, and comments, feel free to drop it below. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for my upcoming videos, thank you and see you in the next video.